Hello guys, welcome back to Moto ADV channel, we hope you guys are doing well. Today we gonna show top 6 amazing affordable 2024 adventure motorcycles first look review and explain the details of the bike. We hope you guys enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. Honda CB500X 2024 will be launched in 2023. Popular adventure motorcycles like the Honda CB500X provide the ideal balance of power, adaptability, and affordability. The CB500X is anticipated to receive a number of interesting tweaks and enhancements in the 2024 model, which will increase its appeal to riders searching for an accessible and capable adventure bike. Design it is projected that the 2024 Honda CB500X would have a tough and aggressive design that emphasizes its off-road skills, it probably has a high-mounted exhaust for better wind protection, a strong chassis with long travel suspension to handle diverse terrains, and a tall windscreen for better wind protection. Aesthetic improvements to the bike might also be made, such new bodywork and graphics. Engine and Performance the CB500X 2024 is anticipated to have a powertrain that is just as dependable and effective as its before, a 471 cubic centimeters parallel twin engine with liquid cooling, fuel injection, and exceptional fuel economy is likely to be included. To enhance low-end torque and mid-range power delivery, the engine may receive modest upgrades. Whether on roads or off-road paths, riders can anticipate a balanced and pleasurable ride. Towards New Horizons, TRK702X is one versatile, agile and easy-to-handle adventure, designed to tackle any type of route, both on asphalt and off-road and built to be able to embark on new and exciting adventures. Passion, freedom and fun in a single motorcycle, whatever road you decide to take and without setting limits to your desire to travel. TRK702X is in fact a mature motorcycle, ideal for those who want a solid, authentic and easy-to-use two-wheeler. A motorcycle capable of guaranteeing optimal performance without ever putting the rider in difficulty at the same time, developed by the Randy Department and the Benelli Style Center to expand the range of the Casa del Leoncino's adventure bikes, entering the medium engine range. The design of the Benelli TRK702X stems from the need to evolve the concepts introduced with the new TRK range, consolidating and making the most characteristic stylistic elements recognizable, transforming them into stylistic features proper to the family. Elements such as the headlight with double LED module set in the iconic structure of the goggle or like the design of the tank, made of metal in the area in contact with the rider's legs, to have the minimum size and allow maximum freedom of movement, without penalizing the capacity of the tank, of no less than 20 liters. Another distinctive trait of the new Benelli TRK702X, shared with the other newcomers in the range, are the rear handles generous but perfectly integrated into the profile of the vehicle, long limbed to offer maximum comfort also to the passenger and at the same time giving a very important stylistic element, going to define the rear end of the bike. A design that integrates perfectly with the brand new 698 cubic centimeters twin cylinder inline Benelli engine, designed thanks to the experience acquired from the development of the 500 cubic centimeters and 800 cubic centimeters engines, from which this new platform was born which presents technical solutions already used in the past, but modified following a logic of reduction of weights and measures. The 2024 Yamaha Tenere 700 has a few thoughtful, useful updates for the new year. These include a new 5-inch color TFT display with two different display options, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity, LED turn signals front and rear, and three ABS modes. 
The bike will be available in Team Yamaha Blue in September 2023 or Shadow Grey in October 2023. MSRP starts at $10,799. Other 2024 returning Yamaha models include the Super Tenera ES, XT250, and TW200. These bikes see no changes in the specification for the new year. New interface, the T7 now features a 5-inch color TFT display on the front, accompanied by a scrolling dial on the right handlebar to control it. Riders can choose between two display options, modern or retro analog style design. Additionally, Bluetooth smartphone connectivity via the Y-Connect app allows riders to receive text and phone call notifications on the dashboard and record ride data for later analysis. LED turn signals, the 2024 Tenerife 700 now comes with LED turn signals both in the front and rear, enhancing visibility and adding a modern touch to the bike. Pre-wiring for Yamaha Quickshifter, the T7 comes pre-wired from the factory to fit the Yamaha Quickshifter, which is an optional accessory available at an additional cost. The Quickshifter allows for smoother and quicker gear shifts without the need for clutch usage. Expanded ABS modes, Yamaha has improved the ABS mode offerings for the 2024 T7. It's been several years now since Kawasaki introduced its much-loved Versys X300 Mini Adventure bike. But for most of that time, there's been a constant demand for something just a bit bigger, a Kawasaki Versys X400. Now, judging by social media hints out of Asia, we may be about to see that happen, although you'd be silly to get too excited at this point. German magazine Motorrad Online has just published an article talking about three new Kawasaki machines teased for upcoming release. Japan's highly important Osaka Motorcycle Show is just around the corner, commencing March 17, and Thailand's Kawi subsidiary published an image of three new bikes slated for unveiling at the show. The image disappeared off social media, but screenshots show a Kawasaki sport bike, cruiser and adventure bike coming at Osaka. The Thai marketeers say every one of these machines is new. With the Ninja 400 and Versys X300 already in the Kawasaki lineup in Thailand, and no small CC cruiser built around this parallel twin platform, we therefore expect an update to the 400 class parallel twin platform. That engine would then be used to power an ADV, a sport bike, and a cruiser. Don't be shocked if it's a new 500, competing head-to-head -head against the Honda 471 cubic centimeters twin. If we do get a Kawasaki Versys X400, or even a 450 or 500, it will at least settle this long-running thread from the Beast subforum, Versys X400 speculations thread. For six-ish years, riders there have been asking Kawasaki to make this machine. If Team Green obliges, y'all better put your money where your mouth is. The Royal Enfield Himalayan 450 finally has a launch date. First liquid-cooled motorcycle is less than three months away. If there's one Royal Enfield motorcycle that's made constant headlines in the past year, it has to be the Himalayan 450. Credit here goes to its repeated sightings around the world, all of which have revealed truckloads of juicy details. The latest revelation, however, comes directly from the Indian bike maker. It is finally revealed when the motorcycle will brake cover, and you'd be happy to know the date just a couple of months away. That's right. Royal Enfield has sent out a block year date for the end of October 2023. The adventure bike will break cover in Manali, India amidst the Himalayas as an ode to the bike's name and off-road credentials. The very first Himalayan 411 also debuted in the same city. An Indian price reveal will follow suit, closely accompanied by an international debut. The 2023 EICMA starts just a week after the Himalayan's reveal. Thus you can expect the 450 in all its glory there.
What about America, you ask? Well, that remains unclear, but given the popularity of the ADV, RE should launch it here in the early months of 2024. That's not too far down the line. The Himalayan 450 will be Royal Enfield's first liquid-cooled motorcycle. So what will the new Himalayan boast? For starters, an entirely new 450 cubic centimeters single-cylinder powerhouse. It will come loaded with liquid cooling, a first for Royal Enfield to promise a sizable jump over the existing Himalayan sub-25 horsepower figure. The versatile Suzuki V-Strom range is expanding and will shortly include a ripping entry-level learner-approved machine. The Suzuki V-Strom family is certainly going to steal some headlines in 2023, with four new models to go on sale in Australia, the single-cylinder V-Strom 250SX and multi-cylinder V-Strom 800D, V-Strom 1050 and V-Strom 1050D trio. The versatile Suzuki V-Strom range is expanding and will shortly include a ripping entry-level learner-approved machine. The Suzuki V-Strom family is certainly going to steal some headlines in 2023, with four new models to go on sale in Australia, the single-cylinder V-Strom 250SX and multi-cylinder V-Strom 800D, V-Strom 1050 and V-Strom 1050D trio. The quarter-liter machine, with the S standing for sports and the X4 crossover, will officially go on sale in March 2023 for a tasty $6,490 right away, but Suzuki Australia pulled some levers to get a pre-production unit to Oz for some early launch activity. Although we were confined to a small closed-loop circuit on private property to ride the V-Strom 250SX, licensing restrictions and all, it was a large enough sample size to realize that Suzuki is introducing a nifty little price fighter which is light, manageable, and well-mannered. No constant battle with managing an abundance of power here, instead it's fun, playful and practical. In other words, very LAMS friendly and all about finesse rather than fury. Suzuki has always done its own thing with its V-Strom Adventure Touring family, not getting drawn into the vortex of mimicking its major competitors. The versatile card has served it well, with over 430,000 units sold globally since 2002. Go on a trip around Oz and you'll see plenty of V-Stroms plying their trade, including the bulletproof 650s. While Suzuki may be moving away from the one-bike multi-purpose narrative with the new 1050 range, there will be road and dirt-friendly options depending on your riding preference. The V-Strom 250SX is a standalone merchant, which is simply all you need in this category. The V-Strom 250SX is manufactured by Suzuki's fully-owned subsidiary in India, which is the first time that Suzuki Australia has engaged in a business transaction with its counterpart in the world's second most populous nation. Well, equal first if we're splitting hairs, as the V-Strom 250SX was joined on the launch by the new Avini's 125 sports scooter, which will go on sale in January 2023.